first of all, I just want to thank the media for coming out. I appreciate it. I'm sorry, um, man. I tonight was a tough fight with Robert Guerrero. He came to fight. I knew he would come to fight. The mic is but we executed the game plan. Like we worked on the training yeah, camp, me and my dad. Um, the game plan was to go out there and fill them out the first couple rounds, then box them. We knew we would come strong at the end. We just had to stay composed and get the job done. But I came here to do what I, I came here to do what I always do, and that's and that's win the win the fight. And I feel great. And it's not not, not much to say. What do you think the difference was? Oh, well, the difference was I I feel like my athleticism. I, I was more athletic than him. See, a lot of people don't know that I'm an athletic person. You know, I could play a lot of sports. I could play basketball, baseball, football. I know all the fundamentals in all sports. So I was just more an athlete than him. I was able to get out of the way, get my combinations, throw my right hand, get out of the way. And he's a tough he's a tough fighter. We knew he would come for 12 rounds. Let's talk about the 12th round. It seemed that you kind of let off the gas a little bit. Uh, what was in that strategy? Yeah, the 12th round, um, I was just trying to make a miss, to be honest with you, because I knew he was desperate, and I knew he was going to try to go in there and uh, land a big shot, so I didn't want to trade with him, and um, so I was just trying to use my legs and move move around. He moved a couple good shots, but I closed it off at the end. We we stood toe-to-toe, -to -toe, and that's what the fans went to see, and the, and the fans went crazy, so at the end of the day, I'm happy with my performance, and I feel like I did a great job. Danny, it seemed like the fight changed course for sure in the sixth round when you started landing all those rights on him. What what was going on there, and why were you able to have so much success that round and from that point forward? I was able to time him. I was able to time him. I noticed that he was doing like the same patterns over and over during the fight, so I just adjusted. Um, I'm good at making adjustments, and um, my dad said, let the right hand go. Let the uppercuts go. Use your angles and get out of there, and that's exactly what we did. You're now going to have a lot of options, including possibly the uh, Thurman Porter winner or Amir Khan. What are you most interested in doing? You know, I'm, I'm interested in whatever. At the end of the day, Danny Garcia, I'm a champion now, 147, so uh, um, the champions have to fight the best fighters. And um, whatever match gets made, I'm ready. Congrats on, congrats on the belt, Danny. Thank you. Uh, do you think being in big fights the last couple of years have got you prepared for this stage? Because you, you never did flinch. It's like you just been there another day at the office for you. You know, um, I've been under a lot of pressure in my career, to be honest with you guys, in a lot of fights where I was counted out, where I was the underdog. So these fights to me, it's just another day at the office to me, you know. Like I told Robert at the weigh-in, I said, I was born for this. I was born for this level. And he said, I was born for this too. But I said, hey. I was going for this because I'm going to win them all, and I did it. <laughs> so, but um, I just I just love big fights. I love the atmosphere. I love when the, sometimes the crowd goes against me, but I love it. I love it. I love, I love when people don't want me to win because it, it brings the dog out of me. Danny. Right, hey, hey, Danny, congratulations on your performance. I talked to Americon after the fight. He said congratulations as well, but he says that, you, that, that's, that should be your next fight, guaranteed. That, uh, I mean, is there any other options? Because he said you have to actually fight. You know, I don't have to fight nobody. You know, he he's been he's been inactive for a whole year. I, I believe a year. Two years. So I don't think that's a good idea to fight an active fighter if you haven't been active for a year. But like I said before, I beat him once and I could beat him again. Dave, right here, right in front of you. Uh, so I think this was a fight that you clearly won. Uh, hit him with bigger shots the timing. Um, so with all, all that in mind, um, how'd you feel about the crowd? And it seemed like they seemed to disrespect to you. Uh, do you. Do you expect hostile crowds every time you fight on the West Coast? I expected it. I expected it. You know, um, I told the fans that I represent all Latinos, but I guess they, they wasn't trying to hear that. <laughs> but, um, you know, um, the Mexican-Americans, they just love a good fight. And the way I close the show, I feel like I won them over at the end of the 12th round because they love blood and guts. And I still toe to toe at the last round. I didn't have to do that. I just wanted to make a statement and show the fans that I came to the West Coast to give you guys a great fight. Hey, hey Danny. Um, your quickness seemed to be the difference in my, you know, in my view, and also you seemed to really, I don't know if you work on this, but you were you were hitting him while you were backing up. Yeah, definitely. Um, 
a lot of people don't know I can fight back and up. You know, a lot of people know Danny Garcia for, for just going forward and just trying to knock everybody out and being flat footed. But I have a lot of dimensions, like I said before. I'm an athlete, and that's something we worked on during training camp. Everything you've seen today was just something that me and my father worked on in camp. Work, go, backing up, fighting, throwing check hooks, using our angles, stepping around, throwing the right hand. So it was just a perfect camp, to be honest with you. He made like, a lot of stuff about be believing that he actually won the fight. And also at the end of the fight before it was announced, it seemed like he truly thought that he had done enough to win. What do you say to that? I mean, he fought a good fight, a hard fight, but he didn't win the fight. I, mean, I had it 8-4, and if I would have closed the 12th round, I would have been 9-3. So I feel like I won the fight clear. Better, I showed better boxing skills. I was I slugged with him when I wanted to. Um, I boxed him when I wanted to show. I was a more versatile fighter. No doubt about it, he came to fight. He's a tough warrior. He's never been stopped. And he comes to fight. Yeah, I guess mentally he wants to think that he won so he can, you know, get bigger fights again in the future. You know, just to leave that image behind. But at the end of the day, I know I won the fight clear. No controversy. And I went in there and I did what I had to do. Yeah. Okay. Uh, as you just said, uh, Robert's never been stopped before, uh, but this is one of the you know, full-fledged welterweights that you've uh, faced kind of being in the division now. Uh, do you feel your power came with you? Do you feel like you, you felt your punches in there? I felt like he took some great shots, to be honest with you, because I hit him with some good shots that I I knock every, a lot of people out with. But um, like, he, he's been here for a long time, so he, he's, he's, his body's physically ready for 12 rounds with a heavier guy and I feel like this is a this is a great fight for me to wet my feet up a little bit more and just continue to grow and get stronger at 147. But this is the last question. Danny, thanks uh, for a great performance, man. That was a really exciting fight. Um, just wanted to ask you, uh, Robert and Ruben Guerrero were banging the drum pretty hard for a rematch. Is that something that you or your father would be interested in doing? He said he'd come to Philly, New York, he said whatever. They're pretty adamant about <laughs> wanting to rematch you guys. Is that something or, or is it on to the next for you right now? You know, at the end of the day, it was a good fight. And if that's what my team wants, then that's what we do. Um, I'm not going to sit here and say I want to rematch with him because I feel like I beat him clean. Yeah, it was an interesting fight because Styles beat fights. And everybody knew this was going to be a good fight by the stop, the matchup and Styles. But I feel like I beat him clean. And I just feel like I, there's no need for me to take steps back in my career. I just want to go into bigger and better things. Angel and Danny, you want to make some closing comments? We'll let you get out of here and celebrate your victory. Well, you know, I just want to thank God for the victorious again, Danny. Thanks to fans, the people, the Mexicans, the Puerto Ricans, the Africans, the Dominicans, the Colombians, all of them. You know, God bless everybody. It was a great fight. Guerrero did not win. Danny knows how to win, like they say. Danny just knows how to win. You know, we're happy. I'm happy for him. Bigger things coming in the future. Khan, no. Guerrero, no. Who else? Gerardo, no. Miguel, no. Cruz, no. Jose, no. I love y'all. I just want to thank everybody for coming out. I hope you guys enjoyed the fight. Until the next one. Thank you. Thank you very much.